There's been lots of talk lately about cold and snow coming to North America and Europe as a result of the polar vortex, but how can this be with so much warm air? And when will this weather pattern change? Those are questions I will be answering in this video, minus the hype. A few days ago I did a video focusing on the polar vortex mainly to clear up a few common misconceptions, especially in light of all the hype and misinformation spreading on the internet. This new surge of news stories and videos about the polar vortex is being sparked by some interesting developments lately, so let's take a look at what we're really dealing with. These graphics right here are an example of a strong polar vortex, and notice how it's nearly circular and centered over the North Pole. But this is what the polar vortex looks like as of today, December 29th. As you can see, we have a slightly displaced polar vortex, and this is happening because of a high pressure zone that's forming over the North Pole, which is completely pushing the vortex away from where it should be. In addition to the polar vortex already being displaced, another thing that I talked about in my polar vortex update a few days ago was a phenomenon called sudden stratospheric warming which is likely to occur as we start 2024. We're not going to get into details in this video again, but basically a sudden stratospheric warming event can have impacts that translate down through the atmosphere, which eventually impacts the tropospheric polar vortex, leading to colder air on the surface. And since this warming event is happening in the stratosphere, it's going to take some time before reaching us on the surface, so we don't expect to see this cold air just yet. Based on all the information that I've analyzed, I'm expecting North America, especially Canada and the northern United States to remain warmer than normal through the new year and up until about January 5th through the 7th. Then, once we pass that point, I think we may start seeing some changes. For Europe, I'm thinking it's going to be similar. Notice this warm and westerly pattern we have continuing through the end of December into the first few days of January. Then we see a possible change in the pattern as colder air could sweep in from the north starting around January 8th and beyond. To prove this point further, this graphic here shows us a blend of the last 48 forecasts made by this specific weather model, so this is even better than looking at one specific model run. Notice all the well above average temperatures covering much of western, central, and eastern Europe between December 28th and January 4th, with colder air over the Nordic countries. We can confirm that this weekly outlook is exactly correct since much of Europe is currently experiencing these warmer temperatures, excluding far northern areas. Between January 4th and the 11th, which includes the beginning stages of a potential colder pattern, this model suggests widespread colder than normal air across central, western, and southern Europe, with even some blue showing up over the United Kingdom. Switching this over to North America, way above normal temperatures across all of Canada into the northern United States, with some areas averaging 13 degrees Celsius above historical averages for December 28th through January 4th. At the same time, colder air is being observed in the southeast U.S. Then by January 4th into the 11th, unlike what we saw for Europe, we're not seeing those widespread blue shades taking over, but what we do see is a significant step down from those widespread well above average temperatures across Canada, with cooler air being more widespread over the southern United States. So based on what we've considered today, the signal is definitely there for a colder and potentially snowier pattern once we get past January 5th to the 7th, which could possibly be the product of a disrupted polar vortex and sudden stratospheric warming event. And with that in mind, that's going to wrap it up for this forecast. If you enjoyed this report, make sure you're subscribed since I'll be keeping you updated on the latest developments. Make sure you leave your questions and comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.